Well, hello, I'm Emeril Lagasse, and welcome to the Essence of Emeril. You know, today I'm going to show you just how to cook up whole gulf fish, near and dear to my heart. Not fillets, the whole fish. And I'm going to start with this beautiful redfish. You know, redfish got so popular 10 years ago when they used to just blacken it to nothing. Well, I'm going to show you right here on the Essence of Emeril just what you can do with some terrific whole fish. And for a terrific whole fish, in my opinion, you need a great stuffing because I'm going to stuff the first fish, the redfish. And let me show you how easy a little simple stuffing is. I heated up a little skillet and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to my skillet. Now, the first thing of what I'm going to do, I've got the trinity. Well, that's what we refer to in Louisiana, trinity as in celery, bell pepper, and onions. I mean, it's the backbone of Louisiana cooking. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by cooking some trinity. There's the celery, and there's the onion, and there's the bell pepper. We're going to start with that. And we're going to add a little bit of salt so that it tastes good. Don't be afraid to season out there. Everybody thinks in Louisiana the food is spicy. Hey, have you seen me add any whole chilies in here yet? No way. Now, after this cooks about two or three minutes, I decided what I'm going to do is I, I added some Trinity from Louisiana, and now I'm going to add some Charisse from my friends in Fall River where I grew up. So I'm going to add some, some chopped Charisse. You can use any kind of smoked sausage that you have. Perhaps you want to use some great andouille, some linguiça. Now, these are leeks. You know, leeks make a wonderful, wonderful flavor. They get really sweet in the texture of it. So I decided I'm going to use a little bit of leeks in this little stuffing we make. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh chopped garlic. And we're going to cook this for a little bit. And we're going to get some of the great flavors out of the charisse that we're going to use. And then I figured what we would do is we would add, I've got some crawfish, I had a little bit of crawfish that I, some tail meat that I had in the ice box. And I had some beautiful little uh, lump crab meat from Louisiana. So I figured what better way to use these ingredients for this delicious redfish. Now we're going to cook cook these ingredients up. We're going to add a little bit of that delicious essence right there of that spice. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you a little bit later on on the show how you yourself can get some essence from the essence of emerald. Now, we're going to cook that a little bit. And just before we're done cooking that, I'm going to get some fresh thyme. And I'm going to add a little bit of fresh thyme in there. And then I've got some very, very fresh breadcrumb. That's all I did is I took some leftover bread from yesterday. See, it's not really all that dry. It's still a little poofy. So what we're going to do is just add a little bit of that breadcrumb in there. Let's see how this is looking right now. Whoo, it's looking good. Now, show you how simple this is going to be. I'm going to take it out of the skillet. And now, if we're going to look for any adjustments, see how it, that breadcrumb is just sort of absorbing it? It's pulling it all together. If you're going to make any adjustments, this is when you want to make it right now. If it, you need to add more salt, more pepper, definitely more essence. Here we go. Now, let me show you what we're going to do. Whoo, that is tasty. Redfish. Meet my friend, redfish. Look, this is what a redfish is. This is a beautiful size redfish. And you know how you can tell if it's a real redfish and not like a black drum or a red drum or some of those other imposters from the Gulf? It has this little black dot on the tail right there. You see? It has that little black dot. Now, it's been gutted. It's been cleaned up and rinsed really good. Now, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to find the backbone from the redfish, right? We're going to find that backbone right there. And we're going to just sort of 
Follow the backbone right on down. Can you see that? That's what we're going to do. Now watch this. What we're going to do is we're going to just keep following that backbone all the way down. Really, really nice and gingerly. You see that? Now, what we're actually doing right there is we've got this little pocket. You see that? We've got this little pocket. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to season this little pocket in the fish, and then we're going to place this right on side of an oven rack, just like that. You see that? And then, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that delicious stuffing of ours, and we're going to just stuff this fish. Put it over, and we'll give a little pocket, press it all in like that. And then the inside, just like we're stuffing the Thanksgiving turkey, stuffing a little redfish. We're going to put all of our stuffing right inside of that pocket. And then I've got the oven on about 400, 450 degrees. Now that we got our redfish, it's been cleaned, it's been scaled. Now, let me show you what we're going to do. I'm going to add a little bit more because we're going to make this little sauce, which I'll show you, with a little bit more Trinity right in here. A little tomato we're going to add, though. You see that? Almost kind of like a salsa. We're going to brush the fish with olive oil. Add some olive oil in there. A little bit more essence, that secret spice that makes it taste nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put those vegetables all over our redfish like that so that it has great flavor. Pop it in the oven and, uh, whoo, whole fish, redfish. You know, the thing is, you go fishing, you come home with them fish, you don't know what to do with them. Well, now you do because you watch the essence. And when we come back, I'm going to show you how to fry a whole fish. Stay with me. We'll be right back on the Essence of Emerald. I'm Emerald Lagasse, and thanks for staying with me here on The Essence of Emerald, because we're talking about whole, whole gulf fish today. And uh, while we uh, took a little break, I just sort of thought I'd whip up a few uh, potato sticks. You know, I was getting a little hungry with all this whole fish. So I just julienned a little potato and just cooked them up real quick. And I'm going to show you why in just a second, as soon as I Give them a little salt so that they taste good. Mmm. All right. Now, another whole fish that we had, some flounder. I love the flounder. And uh, what we did is we bring this, bring this flounder right here. And uh, we just want to clean it up as we did earlier and gut it out. And one of the simplest things to do I take a little bit of essence, a little bit of that spice, spice everything up. And then we'll just sort of mix it all in. And what I want to do is I like to dredge this whole flounder. See this? We'll dredge this whole flounder right inside of this seasoned flour. We'll dredge it up real, real good. Get it all dredged all around. And just keep dredging it in. My mom used to do this. You know, Hilda? I think we're going to have to have a surprise visit from Hilda one of these days. Have her up here in the great studios with the awesome kitchen brigade at TVFN and let Hilda just unlash on us. Now, we got that fish really good and dredged. So now that we got it dredged, I got a little egg wash. And I also got some seasoned cornmeal. 
But what we're going to do, watch this trick. Now we're going to put it back in a little egg wash. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flour that's left over, and I'm going to mix it with some of the cornmeal. And then we're going to just sort of really get this thing really good and dredged now in a little egg wash. You see that? Now we'll get this side, get it really good and dredged in there. And then we're going to just put it right back inside of the seasoned flour and that cornmeal mixture. Get it all good and coated. Get it all good and coated up. And then we're going to add some more of that. And this is a great, you'll find this a lot done around the Gulf and a lot of the fish camps. You'll find a lot of this style of whole fish like this, and they get that oil just really cooking, real popping. And then what they do is they just take that seasoned fish like that, and then what they do is they just fry it whole, just like that. We'll just kind of let it go in there and fry it away. Hey, where did you go? Now, that wasn't that difficult, was it? I mean, all we did is we did a little seasoned flour and some egg wash. And you know, you find this a lot around the Gulf in those fish camps. With a lot of catfish, they do it like that. They just sort of dredge it all in that. And boy, I'll tell you, you want to talk about delicious. Now, come on over here for a minute. And we're going to talk about another delicious thing because what we're going to do is we're going to make a very simple sauce for this great fish that we've got. I've got a little bit of mayonnaise, and I'm going to add a little bit of capers and some pickles. And you got it. You know it. You got it. You better use it. And then some mustard. I'm going to mix all of this up so we have a nice little sauce, sort of like a little Creole tartar sauce, you know? Get it all good and spiced. Hey, I hope you didn't miss that first fish, whole fish dish that we did. That incredible stuffed, and I mean stuffed, redfish. Now, let's go check on our, on our great fish here. Look at that. See how nice and crispy that's coming? Starting to float right up there. Woo! We've got some of these little Juliana fried potatoes. They always make a great little garnish too, those guys, you know? For all kinds of things. All right. What we're going to do now, you see it floating right on the top. Oh, this is looking so terrific. So, so terrific. Look at that. We're going to just let it drain and uh, let it drain a little bit. And uh, we're going to just add a little bit of salt just so that while it's good and hot. And I'll tell you what, when we come back, I'm going to take another beautiful whole gulf fish, fancy it up, show you this flounder. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. Stay with me on the essence of everything. Welcome back. Have I got a great fish dish for you. Maybe I should give you a fish story, but now I'm cooking whole fish. I mean, did you see that flounder, that whole flounder with those incredible shoestrings and a little tartar sauce, how simple that was? Well, I'm going to show you how simple this one is. This is a trout, a speckled trout, whole fish from the Gulf. Sometimes just people don't know what to do with them. You know. The husband, the wife, they come home, they've got a nice chest full of fish. Oh, my God! What do I do with them now? Give them to the neighbor, quick, honey. Look, very simple. You got to take the stomach, simply with a, with a knife, and you got to gut them. That's the first thing. And it's, hey, look, it's life. You just take it out, discard it away. Take it away, it's done. Rinse it under some cold water. Hey, it's finished. Done deal. 
There you go. Give me back my fish. Now, this is what we're going to do. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a couple of slits on this trout. Watch what I'm going to do here. Just a little bit of, just a couple of them. Not a lot. You see that? Look. Eh, maybe one, two. And you're probably saying to yourself, oh, my God, he didn't scale that fish. Well, I'm going to tell you why I didn't scale it, because this is what I'm going to do. I've got a portobello mushroom right here, portobello. I'm going to olive oil that, olive oil this, and olive oil my portobello mushrooms. Now, I'm going to take a lot of olive oil, and I'm going to just olive oil up my fish, and I'm going to add a little bit of juice to it, of lemon, a little bit of salt, a little bit of essence, and this is what we're going to do with that. We're going to take that, put it right on side of our grill for our whole fish. Same thing as this is grilling. As the fish is grilling away, our whole trout, Real cooking right here on TVFN, live. Now, the only thing I got to do now is I got to season that side of the fish. And then what we're going to do is those mushrooms that I had, we're going to start slowly grilling them as well. Okay? So we got a little bit of grilled portobello mushroom, one of my favorite mushrooms. And I was at the market this morning. And the incredible thing at the market was that already these white asparagus are coming out. So I peeled them and I blanched them nice and fork tender. And uh, I'm going to use those. But before I do that, make sure that we got a good, our fish is oiling. Then I'm going to take the rest of this oil that I have, right? And I'm going to put some fresh herbs, whatever kind of fresh herbs you have and a little bit of fresh garlic. Mix them up just like that. We'll take more, a little bit more olive oil. And then what we're going to do is we'll add a little bit of salt and some fresh crack, cracked pepper. And I'm just going to drizzle and let marinate over my fresh blanched asparagus. And that's what I'm going to serve with that unbelievable grilled trout and grilled portobellos. Let's go check on our fish here. Oh, this is looking good already. Look at that. Huh? You see the meat cooking up, looking delicious? <whistles> now, got our asparagus. Put a little bit of nice lemon on them as well. And guess what? It's time now for me to go and see how our whole gulf fish is doing, that incredible redfish that we started out with. Come on. Oh, yes. Look at that, huh? You ought to smell it if we only could have smell-o-vision right now. You let this guy rest a little bit. Then we take our, our little spatula. Whoo, man, is this... Look at that, huh? Remember we stuffed it earlier? Boy, that looks fantastic. Now... I'm going to be careful with all that stuffing in there. And then we're going to get a big platter. And we're just going to put it right on our platter, just like that. And get them back for some of that stuffing. Woo, look at that. I mean, you garnish it up. You serve that. Hey, how about that? Serve that with your favorite sauce. As a matter of fact, speaking about sauce, you could just simply finish this with just a little bit of great olive oil, just drizzled over it. Just like that. I'm going to have a little bedding here of white asparagus. And I'm going to drizzle the rest of that oil. And I'm going to put my 
unbelievable hole, trout on that. And as soon as these portobellos, which are just about done, hey, I'll see you tomorrow right here on the Essence of Emerald. Thanks for joining me.